Hi guys, it's Beth and Kirsten, and we're from Blue Apple Art Studio, and welcome to your first online art tutorial with us today. Today um, we're going to do some nature art with you guys. Yeah, we're very excited. Um, so we'll just need a few things, hopefully you'll have most of these at home. Um, we'll need some leaves, so you can just get them from the garden, any texture or colour, doesn't matter, just get a lot of them. And some paper. Yes. Printer paper's fine or any that you have lying around. Um, oil pastels or crayons both work really well. Um, scrap paper, newspaper, anything that you don't mind getting paint on. Some brushes or rollers that we can use to apply paint and some acrylic paint. <laughs> and some water. And some tape. So you can pause this video now and go and get all your things and then we'll be here for when you're ready. Okay, so our first activity is going to be doing some stencil with our leaves. So you should get something that ends up like this at the end. And to begin, um, you can pick your leaves and put them underneath um, your paper. And you can do just one at a time or a few or overlap them later. Up to you. And then you're going to get your crowns or your oil pastels and um, rub gently over the top of your paper. It works best if you, if you hold it on, maybe on the side. And you can do lots of different colors. And the idea is that you get the veins through the, coming through the paper. Yours looks good too. I can see the vein of that leaf. And some leaves work better than, than others. We were doing this before and a few of them weren't working as well, which is fine. It's all just trial and error and seeing which ones work. So if your leaves are flat underneath, the pressure that you're putting on the top will help get those Nice yeah. So you should get something that shows some of your leaves. And if you want to take things one step extra, you can just keep layering them. Even and adding a bit of, um, you know, watercolour paint yeah. to the background gives a nice effect. Yeah. So experiment with that, try some different colours, some different leaves. And um, now is a good time to pause whilst you do that and we will see you when you're ready for your next activity. Hi again, welcome back. So our second activity is going to be mono -printing, printing with pens. Yeah, and you're going to get stuff which looks like this. I'm going to um, So for these we will need, you can use the same leaves that you used earlier. Yeah. And we'll need your acrylic paints. Um, watercolors won't work as well, so definitely try for acrylics if you can. And for this one, we'll need your scrap paper and your some fresh paper as well. Yeah, oh, cool. So pick up um, your one of your leaves. I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna go with this one. And you're gonna get your paints and. You don't have to stick to just green and brown, so you can go any colour you want, and you're going to paint both sides of your leaves on your scrap paper. So I'm going to you go can mix up the colours, or you can pick just one. And it does look kind of cool if you use different colours on the leaves, wherever your heart takes you. Make sure, make sure you get all the edges. Yeah, you want them covered really well. So when you've done one side, flip it up and do the other side. And even get the stems of the leaves as well because they print really nicely too. Oh, you're quick. So both sides of mine are painted. You go over. 
<laughs> so I'm going to put it down on top of a clean piece of paper and then I'm going to put another piece of paper over the top and then I'm going to rub it with the leaf in between. And try not to move the leaf when you do that bit. <laughs> And if, if you press a bit harder, you'll get the, the veins coming through. Good alignment. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. So lift up the top. And you should have two leaf prints. Beautiful. So and like a mirror of each other. Yeah. And you can, you know, experiment and get, if you have bigger pieces of paper, you can like do lots of different leaves and layer them on top of each other and do like collages and stuff. Try different colors and, you know, using one color on one leaf and different colors on another. Um, so yeah, that's our second activity. And you can pause now. So we're back and we're going to be doing some bush brushes now. So it's going to look like this. Um, just another way to get creative and use um, different mark makings and yeah. different lines. And use something other than a paintbrush. So. Yeah. So these, um, this exercise works well with different twigs and kind of leaves that might look a bit more like this. And I've even made um, earlier, you know, a, a little handle and added some tape to mine. Yeah, and this does work better. Um, so we're still reusing the same paints that we used in the last activity, but we are going to add a little bit of water in it um, just to make it a little bit more liquidy. Yeah, a bit more like inks. Yeah. And Beth is using her brush. I'm just going to use um, these leaves. We're just trying to get a good consistency. There is no exact way, just, just so it's a bit, a bit runnier. What do you think that game? Yeah. Going straight in. And it's just a good way to get some marks on your page. You can think about a trail that you might be making or mixing up the colours. And these make really nice cards and stuff like that, just some backings, you know. <laughs> and depending on the different leaves that you're using, you'll get different marks. I might mix this up and maybe use what person was using earlier. As you can see, we're kind of just just more of a fun, free activity to be doing. And hopefully you're enjoying it and getting something creative out of it. And as Kirsten mentioned, you can, you know, turn these into cards or even um, wrapping paper. Yeah, so if you get a big sheet and do it, you can turn it into wrapping paper and, you know, something a little special and homemade to wrap presents in. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for joining us for today. Nature Art today. We yeah. hope you've enjoyed it and we hope you got something out of it and um, we'll see you for the next tutorial. <laughs>